and we are rolling. So hey everybody, I am currently in the process of hatching chicken eggs. I have about a dozen in there. They are mixed breed, uh, Rhode Island Red, Americana, and some others. Um, this has actually been a bucket list item of mine for a while, so this is my very first time hatching eggs. I am using a Farm Innovators 4200 Pro Series incubator uh, with forced air. Uh, honestly know nothing about incubators but I found this one and it got good reviews. Uh, it's actually holding a perfect uh, 99.5 degrees if you can see in there and we are on day 10. So um, I am making this video to uh, to show the candling process. I have done this a few times and they've been pretty active so I'm hoping uh, using that tool we will be able to see some movement. So as you can see here, I have the eggs in the uh, automatic egg turner, and that is also by Farm Innovators, and that seems to be working really well. Uh, I'm going to start with this big guy right here, this dark brown egg, and uh, it's been moving around quite a bit, so hopefully we will see some stuff. Uh, bear with me while I turn the lights off. And I've got my candler here. So I'm just gonna pull this up here and I'm gonna get us in focus as much as I can, anyway. All right, that should be good. And here we go. Oh yeah. This little guy's moving all over the place. It's so awesome. Wow. This little guy's moving all over the place. So I'm just going to bring up another one here. You can see this egg is obviously a different color. And turn the light off. Maybe. <laughs> and let's see if we can see anything in this one. Uh, I've been noticing that the um, these greenish color eggs are a lot more difficult to see inside of. I uh, definitely see a lot of veins in there. I have seen movement in this one before. Um, just does not show well on camera. So I'm gonna bring up another one. So this one here has definitely has some movement. You can see, there we go. Yeah, so, so, oh, there we go. I always wonder if it's the light that makes them move. They get scared, maybe, I'm not sure. And I'm just gonna do one more here with this, uh, this other big guy here. I'll turn the light off. 
off. Let's see if we can see. Oh, here we go. And this one's moving around too. Dying to know what it looks like inside these eggs. I'm just gonna grab another one here and turn the light off. And let's see if we could see anything in here. This one's definitely you can see right through it. Definitely see a lot of veins in there. I don't know if you can see them. It's a little tricky, but you can see those little stripes in there. There we go. You can see a little more there. But I don't, not seeing any movement. You know, in the videos that I've watched online, it shows people flipping the eggs upside down, and I'm petrified to do that, but I'm just going to do it anyway because I've never done this before. Um, let's see if that makes a difference. And I'm still not seeing any movement in this guy here. Oh. oh, check that out. Maybe that's his head there. All right, so it just also goes to show these guys are hard to uh, figure out. Anyway, I'm just going to do one more here, and then we will call this call this quits. Uh, one last egg. So, definitely see something in there. You can definitely see that big in those veins right there. Oh, a little beat. Oh yeah, there we go. Anyway, so it looks like these guys are developing and we are at day 10. So we have about 11 more to go and I'll send another video soon.